Yo guys, welcome back to another World Cup video where, believe it or not, today we are not doing a live match reaction, but rather I thought I'd break the trend a little bit and do this sort of more reflective kind of video on how the day progressed on match day 10 of the World Cup. Now that the groups are sort of shaping up and we can see and get a rough idea of who is likely to qualify for the round of 16. So the game that just took place directly before I'm recording this video was Germany versus Sweden. Sweden took the lead early on in that game and I think everyone around the world was thinking, right, Germany are actually going to lose two consecutive World Cup games and be eliminated after the first two games they've played. But of course, this German team, way too used to winning champions, champions attitude and that free kick that went in at the end, despite having two defenders on the pitch, despite having a red card to Jerome Boateng, they just pulled it out of somewhere and they registered not just the point, but three points to really mix up the shape of the Group F table. The earlier game in the afternoon was uh, also in Group F. It was Mexico versus South Korea. Mexico took that game 2-1. It was a decent performance from South Korea. They got a goal right at the end with Son Hyung Min, but Mexico had a little bit too much quality and you would probably say now they are very, very likely to go on and win this group. And it all comes down to the last match day where Germany have probably the weakest team in the competition, in the group, sorry, in South Korea. And then Mexico and Sweden, a pretty decent game I think that'll be, but I can imagine, I can see that going to a draw or maybe one team nicking it, but it's certainly gonna make for an interesting, an interesting end to this group. But moving on to what kind of matters a little bit more for England fans and something a bit closer to home was the game that took place at one o'clock today, the early kickoff in Group G, it was Belgium versus Tunisia and Belgium made slightly easier work of disposing of Tunisia than England managed to do but at the same time it's come out that Belgium may be fielding a slightly weakened team against England and injuries to Lukaku, Hazard and Mertens who are arguably Belgium's three best attacking players. Now people are speculating and kind of saying that, you know, Belgium could potentially be trying to forge their own destiny here, intentionally finishing second in this group so that they get an easier path to the latter stages of the tournament. I personally don't think that either Belgium or England are gonna care about the potential seeds and what potential opponent they're gonna come up against. I think that they will just full out wanna, wanna go on some good form, that they won't wanna lose this game, this final game, after England play Panama tomorrow. Tomorrow. But I do think that both teams will want to finish top of this group despite whatever potential opponent they may have later on. So it is a bit of a blow in my opinion to Belgium. But bagging five goals against Tunisia today, it looks like this team can really, really put the ball in the back of the net and they look very, very prolific. A little bit more so than England who are quite wasteful with a lot of good chances they had, especially in the first half against Tunisia. We scored two, they scored five. That is the, the bare facts of it. However, going back, Tunisia did pose a lot more of a threat than they did against Against England and maybe that's because they had to play a bit more offensively but also I think Belgium just look a little bit suspect at the back at times I think England's attack and the pace that we've got up there and the sort of lethal striker we've got in Harry Kane I think we will cause Belgium problems but I definitely think we will concede as well so I'm going to go ahead and sort of give my prediction of the narrative that I expect to unfold between England and Panama tomorrow and of course I would appreciate it if you guys if you have any thoughts on how England's last two group games are going to unfold leave them down in the comments and we'll get chat but I think getting three points against Tunisia firstly was huge for England and I think it will give us enough to go on momentum wise and beat Panama tomorrow. However, I do believe that it's going to be a lot harder than people may first think. Panama are a very resilient and physical side and they held Belgium out for quite a long time before the floodgates opened after the first goal went in and I can foresee that they will do the same kind of thing against England and I don't think we're quite as prolific as the Belgium side. So I'm expecting maybe like a 2-0 or even a 2-1 if they get some sort of counter attack. However, if we do manage to break down Panama early on and get, a, a, get an early goal, I do think we will go on to win the game, maybe even four or five nil, much like Belgium did, but they only managed three. But I think we may be able to improve on Belgium's three nil deficit against Panama, but only if we do manage to break them down early on. Will we go for the jugular though? I'm not 100% sure. I think we will go on to get six points though. It seems like Rashford may be starting. I'm not sure about Danny Rose, but I'd like to see him come in and Loftus-Cheek for a not 100% fit Ali. I would like to see that change made because I think if Loftus-Cheek has a good game, it will really, really make him more useful for the latter stages of the tournament. But that's gonna be it for this little sort of update, reflection, prediction video. Let me know down below what you guys think about what's gonna happen on this match day two for England. And let me know how you think the final standings of Group G, England's group, 
is gonna end so that's it guys make sure you leave a like on the video make sure you subscribe as well if you're new and actually i won't be seeing you with a live reaction video tomorrow for the england versus panama game because believe it or not I've gone and booked some theatre tickets for me and my mum for a birthday present before the World Cup fixtures were announced and we're going to see the bloody Harry Potter show, aren't we? So basically, I won't be able to bring a live match reaction until Monday. So, I'm going to try and steer clear of the scoreline until then. Hopefully, I'll be able to watch a recording of the England versus Panama game without knowing the score. Hopefully, we get the win and I'll see you on Monday as the final round of group fixtures get underway but take care everyone i'll see you later and sweet